Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's the Avenging Crusader, AVC, and we're back for another Let's Play of Europa Universalis 3, Divine Wind as the Hansa. And uh, last episode, we actually went to war with Mutapa, who we've subsequently annexed. They had these two territories. And they were allied... No, they weren't allied with anyone, but they were guaranteed by Songhai and a group of these uh, African miners. So Molly joined, and uh, Ken and Borno joined... And Hausa joined, and Benin joined, and Songhai joined. And Songhai was allied with Castile. Why? I have no idea. But Castile then went ahead and uh, allied. Songhai was the leader in the war. They took the leadership from Mutapa, and then Castile took it from Songhai. So now we're at war with Castile. And Castile called Muscovy in, but we beat uh, Prussia beat them, and we took some money from them and got rid of their cores on this territory that we took, which is very cool. So our war exhaustion, even though our war is steadily going down, or it was anyways, now it's going very slowly up, but it should go down quickly as soon as we're done with this. And uh, it is too lower than it was last episode, and we're doing fairly well otherwise. Revolts, obviously, but uh, those should go down as soon as we get the war over with. So nothing to worry about, guys. Basically, our goal here is to take Judea, and I'm probably going to take Negev and Tabuk as well, so that we can access the uh, rest of the Arabian Peninsula. And also going... Well, hmm. If we're going to go to war with Syria, then we'll be, at war, we'll be in proximity to Iraq. And then we can declare war on Iraq and Yemen at the same time, and link up these lands. Yeah, let's do that. Let's play smart. Let's not take extra infamy. We don't really need these. These aren't terribly valuable. Anyways. Like, their value's released because it's been sacked, but still. I mean, most of these... Basically, the only two that are worth anything are Cairo and Alexandria. And Delta sometimes, but not in this one. Apparently. Yeah, the rest of these are just crap. Um, we won Sinai. Sweet. You guys can keep moving. We want Delta as well. Alright, so you're going to go to Asiot first, and then you guys go to Alexandria. I'd love to take Alexandria, but I'm not sure if it's a good idea because there will be rebellions there all the time. And there will be big rebellions too. Oh, there's a level 2 fort there. Let's go ahead and go to Nile instead. No. Will you take Judea? Can I just get Judea off you? They would not. Why will you not accept that? Your war exhaustion is going to go super high, dude. And extra ducat skin. Sweet. Castile wants white piece. No, that's not happening. That's nice. And they are actually invading St. Kitts with a massive 4,000 man army. I'm shivering in my boots over here. What are you doing? Okay, I'm really confused. This guy was going to Honduras or somewhere down here in Central America from frickin' Canada on foot. The hell? There must have been a rebel there that I dealt with. Well, whatever. Have a nice hike. Where's my navy? I thought I had a transport navy here. Maybe they're gone. And Castile's blockading here with uh, four dudes. Although we do have a lot of caravals on this coast, so we could probably take them out. Yeah, let's go take them out. How's that sound? And group up all these dudes. And they're all going to go right there. We're going to group up in Bahia. Lüneburg dead. Nice. Looks like they ran away. Okay, Falkland succeeded, which means we can use this colonist on somewhere over here. So, I think we're going to get Antenna and Revo first. Because they're all the same percentile, and it's the farthest um, east. Which 
means it'll be a better base later on when we get a core to colonize the Indies. So just start that clock ticking a little bit faster for the 50 year core. So you can assault, you're probably not going to win, but why is not, why the hell not try? Cultural assimilation. Assimilation. As, uh, cultural assimilation. Culture and great crew becomes Hanoverian. Sweet. And Libya is now under our control. So that army, that army can come over here and take out the level 2. No. 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 Sarnisha, go ahead and take that out, please. Alright, so we have all this territory taken. And since it's sacked, um, Castile is going to get steady war exhaustion gain from that. So their war exhaustion should eventually get to the point where, like the HRE in the last war, they'll just give up to pretty much anything we want. And honestly, since Judea only costs what, 2%, they should accept it fairly soon. The only reason they're not giving it up, they'd probably give us pretty much anything else. Except for that. They give us money. No, they won't give us anything. So maybe they're just stubborn. Sometimes the AI is just stubborn for no reason. Wow, we're down to 2,000 men from the original 4,000 that made up this group. Catholics, why are there Catholic zealots here? It's a Protestant place. I don't understand. Alright, so that succeeded. We could take the center of trade in Suakin, but I don't really see the point because it's not worth very much. Yeah, that dude's dead. We help out there first. And you, my fine friend, you can go hang out in Judea. So that is where I. Well, hold up. Can we get access? Yes, we can. Alright, so you guys can just go ahead and march that way. Arkansas has risen and attacked us. Oh no! Alright, that's from these randoms. Hurry up. Get to Canada. It's safer. It's colder, but it's safer. There's no natives. Promise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go ahead and take these fools out. Stability's up, finally. Finally, finally, finally. Alright, so now we're getting 41 annually. So we can drop this by a bit more. Yeah, that'll be fine. We can lose two a year because if we don't spend any money, that'll last us for a good uh, 125 years, something like that. So that's fine, and we'll and we'll make more. Like I said, once we're out of this war and we're not paying the troops. All right, so we don't want to go any farther this way because these territories are not worth much, and also the attrition is crazy. Like, look at, look at that, the supply is 5. So, we're just going to ignore that. We're going to go ahead back to North Africa and take over some of these places. And really, I'm just waiting. Like I said, there's really nothing we need to take except for Judea I want. For uh, reasons I listed in a previous video. But, um... The more we take, the faster the war exhaustion goes up, and the faster they'll want to take peace. So Prussia's still in the war. But they're not really doing anything. We could invite all our allies to join if we wanted to, but they wouldn't be able to do anything either unless uh, Poland or Hungary could access Polotsk and take over this area, which is once Wallachia, I believe. Yep, yeah, Wallachia. Yeah, Golden Horde is winning against the HRE, but they're losing against, uh, who's this? Smolensk. The massive one territory of Smolensk. Well, two territories. I wonder why they have two territories spread out like that. That's weird. Usually they're like, um, you know, like Ukraine where they're two right next to each other. Maybe the, uh, Muscovy took it from them. That's why. Huh. Yeah, not a problem. Congo wants peace, no. And we lost our Alderman, which was the production efficiency dude, I believe. Oh yeah, I forgot to get rid of this dude. Um, yeah. 
So we're just going to take him, because we don't need the fort defense. Is there anyone else worth taking? This guy... What do you do? Oh, he does legitimacy, but we don't need legitimacy, that's why. There's nothing there. National vote risk would be nice, but our war exhaustion is supposed to go down anyways. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get our own. Get our own dude. So what do we have? We have Master of Mint level 4. We have Alderman level 3. So... I think we probably need an economy dude, because our military is strong enough just in terms of numbers that it can whip pretty much anybody. Although we do need more manpower, because our max is 72,000. But I don't really want to waste an advisor slot on that. We could get an infamy dude. But the question is, do we really need an infamy dude? Because we're already getting rid of quite a bit of it just from the ruler. Uh, uh, let's wait on that till we have closer to 100% cultural tradition. How's that sound? So we don't need the infamy reduction now anyway, so we might as well not pay for them. Random revolt in the Azores, which we squashed with our 11,000 men there. And send another colonist to Mahe. And you can go explore that, and then explore that, and then come back. How's that sound? Naples is at war with Sardinia, for those who are wondering. And another revolt in the Azores, which was probably squished. And Benin wants peace. No, not doing that. We're going to delay this army so that the attrition is not so bad. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to let this guy, uh, with the 10,000, we're going to let them go past, and then we're going to move up after them. So that means there will be less people in the place at one time. So if you're at war, and you're actually fighting units, why didn't you stop? I told you to stop. Damn it. If you're at war and you're fighting units all the time, you're fighting armies, then you want to have your units more concentrated so that they can fight the battles. But since I believe most of Castile's army is up here, who's this? Nor Norway. Yeah, Norway. Thanks, bud. But think, since I believe most of Castile's army is up here, anyways, it shouldn't. Uh, we should be able to spread out safely. There's still uh, seventy-five thousand though that we could possibly have to fight. No, I'm not giving you white peace. You are giving me Judea. And that is the end of the discussion. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give nope. Still not doing it. Crazy. More money, thank you. And this also has a crappy supply limit, which sucks. Alright, so now that this army's one ahead, we can go ahead and order this army to move up, and that way the attrition will be less for both of them. Which means both more troops and lower war exhaustion. Nope, morale's too low. Alright, you are doing fine. So you can go ahead and go there real quick, and then go back. Yeah, that's not my problem. If they revolt, then it'll work out well. Because then I won't. Uh, then um, the provinces that I have will be worth more. If that makes any sense at all. Probably doesn't, because I kind of worded it badly. Basically, what I mean is if that territory revolts and is conquered by these uh, Al Mizar Arabic patriots, which I believe are aligned with the Mamluks. If they take over this territory and then it cedes to the Mamluks, then each, then the uh, Castile will have less territory overall, which means that each territory individually will be more worth more. So we will lose the like 0.2 percent 
that we get from owning it and we'll gain a little bit more on each of the other ones. So it might be worth it in the end, but in any case Castile will lose land permanently and that will be better than anything we could do by actually physically taking it. Okay, so we got three magistrates. That brings us up to almost 90. We're going to get to 95 and then we'll go ahead and recruit someone. Randomly won that siege. I like it. And you need to siege that because you're at 10% attrition. That sucks. What are we at? We're at 14%. A massive 14%. So Great Britain has some sort of event going on called the Time of Troubles. And I've never actually had this happen to me, but I see it happen to other nations occasionally. But if we could get peace with Castile, this could be the time to strike to get our cores. Interesting. They're all with Portugal, which I don't think is going very well for Portugal. Um, current wars. Probably missed it. Nope, there it is. Portuguese conquest of Swahili. So, for whatever reason, Great Britain is on the side of Swahili, which is not in the war any longer, for whatever reason. But anyways, yeah, they're losing that by 20%. No. No. Can I have Judea, please? Seriously. Save everybody a lot of trouble. Nope. Alright, so we got four more territories here to conquer, and then we're just going to kind of sit on the land, because their war exhaustion is six and a half in climbing. No. And our missionaries are being successful, which I like. Oh, hello! Hello, hello, hello! We just got uh, a core on Ruppin. Nice! So that's another reason to go to war with the HRE. They're allied with they're allied with Persia. That could be bad because you guys can't see this. Uh, Persia basically makes up this. Persia's freaking huge, and I'll show you guys at the start of the next video just how big they are. But f seriously, they're freaking huge. So if we go to war with them, they could theoretically wipe out. They can't see us. I don't think, we can't see them for sure, and I don't think they can see us, but if they could, they could bring in like un, a good 100,000 dudes and just wipe us out. And obviously they probably won't be able to get to our cores here or anything in the Americas, but we wouldn't be able to mount any kind of offensive against them, which would be bad. You gotta be able to see your enemy before you can beat your enemy. Alright, so we lost all of our <laughs> troops there. All the infantrymen. We have to bring this army down real quick. Fight him off. No. That's fine. Rebels are good as long as it's not in my territory. No. My succeeded. Sweet. Alright, so we've got two here. And I think, yeah, we got a third one coming. Let's just go ahead and get the third province in Madagascar. We lost St. Kitts after two years. A little over two years we lost St. Kitts. So guess what they get to do? They get to sit there until their navy comes back and then they can hop to a different island that I don't care about either. So yeah, don't really care. Oh, 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 I shouldn't have closed that. Damn it. But they were willing to give us stuff. So I think they'll probably give us Judea. Yes, they will. How much will you give me? You'll probably give me tons of shit, won't you? How much money do you have? 225 and you can release a bunch of people like Granada which you wouldn't do but you'd release Toulouse which would give a massive two provinces and Wallachia which would be two provinces and Funj which would be two provinces no one province Moldavia two Gayen which would be one don't really care Hassa also don't really care get rid of alliances don't care <laughs> we could try to convert him to Protestant, that would screw him over big time. But also screw us over big time, because we'd have to fight through all that land. 
Yeah, I don't really care. How much will they accept? They won't accept 30. They will accept 20. They won't accept 26. But they would accept 22. But not 27. Not 26. Alright, so we're looking at about a 25% peace deal here. And basically it's just time to get out. So first of all, let's get our troops home because we won't have access through here. Oh wow, look at that. You can just go straight across. I didn't even know there was a straight there. Or a, what do you call it? A uh, land bridge. That's crazy. But yeah, we can just march straight on through. And we should probably go this way because that would be a bit smarter. Uh, less attrition anyways. And yeah, as soon as we're back, we can go ahead and get peace with Castile. So let's go ahead and move our armies into position for Great Britain, because we're probably not going to get a better chance to go to war with them. Do they have rebels? They don't have rebels. They're actually conquering people. Conquering cannot. We can go ahead and guarantee Munster. Nah, don't bother guaranteeing Munster. Who cares about Munster? Yeah, Golden Horde just respawned, and now they're about to get raped by uh, the massive military power of Smolensk, which is actually doing quite well. They've got what five territories, so that's a uh, that's kind of a shocker. There, I was not expecting that. So we got we got twenty thousand HRI troops there. Got a whole bunch over here. And are they at war with someone? They're at war with Golden Horde only. But our truce, our truce is expiring in September. And they could theoretically come back for revenge. It's highly possible. So we need to be ready for that. Nope. Nope. 0 0.9 infamy, so this is going to be timed pretty much perfectly. As long as these guys make it back within the year, we'll be fine. Alright, we got three magistrates, so it's time to get a new dude. Dude, dude, dude. What sort of dude? Let's get a better Master of Mint. Because as much as an infamy reduction diplomat would be worth, a better Master of Mint is worth more to me. Because our inflation is rather high. And we can fill our open slot with uh, this Mr. Discipline man to help us in the fight, even though he's 26 years old. We're actually gaining 10. Uh, we were gaining 10. Oh, shoot. hate this event. So you either gain 5 inflation or lose 200 ducats. Well, we have the ducats, but we'll have to make it so that we don't lose any money for the rest of the year if we do this, and actually we'll have to make 5 in this month in order to cover it. So we're just going to have to take that option. Shoot. I'm not getting 5 inflation. I would much rather take a loan than get 5 more inflation. Oh no, we lost the Siege of the Nile. What a shame. More rebels. I really don't care about these rebels as long as they don't mess with Judea. If they mess with Judea, I'll be mad. Slaves in Boina. Nice. Nope. Nope. Shoot. Okay, well, first of all, let's go ahead and, and raise this up to there which is insane, but we need money to pay for both these events. Okay, so first we need to give that, which sucks, but whatever. And then we do this, which is going to make us get less, less, no, less national tax and lose a little bit of money, but it's better than 13 revolters in Yaroslavl, because I got nobody to kill rebels in Yaroslavl, because there's no one close by. So, pay them off. 
And we just need to reduce this back down to regular levels again. There we go. And we need to start investing in something. What should we invest in? We get an idea at 25. Uh, we get a mint next one here. Trade is still making up the, the lion's share of our uh, income, though. So I think we should research trade again. Yeah, it's actually cheaper. Look at that. It's 21245 instead of 27171. So it's actually 6000 cheaper to go for trade than to go for production. So we're just going to do that. We'll get it in five years. No worries. Plenty of time. Quality ivory. Sweet. Random one prestige. Not that it matters, but, you know, it's nice. Birds, you got peace. Don't care. Colonial company in Miami. Cool. Where is Miami? I mean, I know where the American city is, but I don't think that's what it's talking about. No, it's over here. Interesting. I did not know that this area was called Miami. That's good to know. So, cool. You learn stuff in this game. It's a learning game. Alright, so you need to go explore that island for me so I can colonize it. No. Stop spamming me with random peace offers. No. I think we can actually get go ahead and get peace with Castile now. Because your troops, as long as they stay in your enemy territory when you get peace, they'll be able to stay there uh, as they move out. So all of our units are through Tripoli, which means that it's a straight shot all the way back. Let's go ahead and get Judea. Oh, now they won't. Ah, oh, damn it. Maybe if we just wait a bit. Maybe if we just wait a bit, they'll do it. Just have faith and patience. Oh, there's actually two islands here. That's cool. And colonize both of them. Mauritius, nice. Alright, so where do I want you to explore? How about right about there? Because there's an island here that we'll need to capture if we go to war with Yemen at any time soon. So we're at 95% um, cultural tradition. Yeah. It's time for a diplomat, I believe. But we'll save him until we take this territory. This area from... Why won't you accept that? It's 2%. I have 14. You were willing for a 25 earlier. Maybe we have to take Nile back. Well, thankfully that's a goal that we can accomplish. Yep, there's the island. We need to find the actual island itself. Causation failed in Manabe. Well, that's not cool. Bro. It's not cool at all. Run out of money in November. Not an issue. Go away. Alright, these guys are fighting Rebs. Should win both fights easily. There's one. The other one's going to be just as easy. Like I said, I really don't care if the Rebels win. I just don't want them blocking my path. Oh, seriously? There we go. Okay. Now will you take peace? Now I'm at 15%? Yes, you will. <laughs> well, would you look at that? I'm taking one territory. Alright. Well, you're going to give me a crap load of money. You're going to get rid of your core on Ribatejo and Badiat Asham. And you can release Malikia. You know, you won't. Okay, get rid of that. And now release Willikia. No, you won't. Okay, well, get rid of Re Rebateo. I don't care about Rebateo. Yeah, release Willikia. 275 cash. I like it. And now we have colonialism against them for all of their colonies up here. So what we want to do is we want to take this small army here, take them there, 
And then these guys are going to go back to where they are used to being. And that will do it. Can you still go that way? Oh, called arms from Burgundy. Almost didn't notice that. They're over with Champagne and Aachen. Why are you at war with Aachen? God damn it. Why would you go to war with Aachen? Well, Champagne just revolted from HRE, because that used to be HRE land. So Aachen is going to get butt-raped in this. And I don't really care, because Aachen's too small to be important. So, yeah, Burgundy will do all the work there. Not my problem. Why aren't you killing those rebels? Do I have to do everything myself? You're on setting on hunt rebels and you're not doing anything. God damn it. All right, so Hesse will help out if they need help. But I don't think they will. We have, uh, yep, that's easy. Finished it. We do have a, uh, oh, Oman is here. Were they always there? I think they were. I just didn't notice them earlier. Haha. -ha. Lameness. Anyways. No holy war. Maybe at the end of the month. No. Because they're Catholic. Oh. Right. I totally knew that, guys. Why, why are you Catholic? You must have lost a war to someone. Well, that's weird. But not my problem again. So we do have uh, Judea now. So we have Conquest of Jerusalem, which gives us an additional one prestige per year. And an extra half a missionary a year, which is awesome. Because we're getting two a year, which we don't need. Except for Jerusalem. Yeah, see, that's it. We got all this stuff conquered already and already uh, converted. So that's 30 minutes, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode today. I'm probably going to go straight into this next one, but I promised I would show you guys how big Persia was, so I'm going to go ahead and save, quit, reload, and I'll start again with the next episode from the main menu. How does that sound? Anyways, guys, see you later.